So welcome back to the next session on this uh, fusion uh, procurement implementation. This session is going to be a correction session for the self-service procurement. So the previous session, uh, we issue, faced some issues and then I identified the problems. And then uh, we are going to see the correction on this one. So let me go on and share the screen. <clears throat> So let me sign in. The first thing, what I did is, I simplified the things. I'll go there, sign in. So we go there. And then in this infolets, we had to bring it to the first infolet actually. Fine, it is now, the four infolets are shown over here. So click on the first infolet for the ZPRI. I am now working on ZPRI. So bring it to the first infolet, then the screen will be coming. So I will now go to the tools and then I go to the security console and then have a look at my user. Now. I am now working on C01 uh, EMP2 now to use a requester. So C01 and then enter. So I made some modifications to the user on the roles actually. So normally we will be giving only the procurement preparer and procurement requester for the self-service procurement users actually. These are the only roles we'll be giving it along with the employee. So I have added the application implementation consultant, ID security manager also. And then procurement catalog administrator is for the catalog administrator. So I'm not going to do the administration also from here itself. And then procurement manager is for the purchase orders. So I've added everything <clears throat> so that from one login itself, we can do it. So in reality, a catalog administrator will be having a separate, a separate user. Procurement manager will be a separate user. These two things will be coupled together on a procurement request structure for the self-service procurement request. So to make it simple, I made everything so that I do not have to log in into another one. So in this login itself, I can see it. Clear? <clears throat> Vijay, click on it. Now, let us go there and then have a look at the item. If I click on the home icon. And then again, go to the first infolet. And then you go to the product management and then go to the product information. You go to the product management and then product information. Management. I will not show you the items now. So click on it. So go to the browse items and then I'm going to query on the items now. So it will be C01. I have now made C01 entering. So if you go on and see, you can now see this many items are now done. So uh, if you have a look at it, the desktop item, <clears throat> it is assigned to, it is now created in the operations org. There is a 000 org. And then it is assigned to the first org Seattle org. The desktop item has been assigned to the first org. Whereas desktop two has been assigned to the third org, operations in Chicago. Okay, now now. And then laptop also is now only in the master org only. Laptop is the master org, whereas desktop is in the master plus zero one, whereas desktop two is a master plus zero three. This is the way I have done it. I will now right click and then I will now duplicate. Now, we will now see what happens in this place. We will now go to <coughs> setup and maintenance. We will now go on and have a look at the configure requisitioning business function. Rather, I learned it just now only. So go there, click on search now. And then go to the configure. Configure positioning business function. So puja is going on, so there will be a disturbance now. <laughs> <It> knows, no? <laughs> configure requisitioning business function. So I go there. In the requisitioning business function, let me open up my view. So go down. So open up your US1 business unit. US1 business unit and check on. So here we have the Chicago org. So items in the Chicago org are only eligible for requisition creation actually. They are only eligible for requisition. If you go on and see, have a look at it. Only desktop two is eligible for requisition creation, whereas desktop item as well as laptop items are not eligible for requisition creation. This I learned it only today. So I'll now go there, right click and then duplicate. <clears throat> And then here we will now go and then have a look at the requisition and click on it. And then before that, we will now go to the purchase orders and click on it. We will now go to the procurement and then go to the purchase orders. And then I have created an agreement and click on it. I have now created an agreement. If you click on it and then go to the manage agreements, I create an agreement. So the agreement number is 52310. So 52310. And then I will now remove the buyer. He is not the buyer, somebody else is the buyer. I click on search and let me show you. So how are we going to find 52310 is the one? Query on it. 52310. If you, if you click on the hyperlink on this, you are not only viewing it and then you are not editing it actually. So 
we have the desktop item is there, the laptop item is there. And then afterwards, this is a wrong entry actually. Fine. I should not have entered like this actually. Fine. I should have entered like what? With the uh, fixed prices and services I had entered. So that is the mistake I made. And so I corrected it actually. And then with the fixed prices, and then I again added the uh, visiting card over here as a sixth item. So I, I canceled this item actually. The visiting card, the third item is already canceled actually. The first one is also canceled. I tried a lot of make uh, R&D and all kinds of that, but the desktop is there. This is there. Fourth is there, fifth is there, sixth is there. Fine. And then second is also there. The laptop item is also there. So the sixth item <coughs> is uh, basically a visiting card. And then I have now made it as what? Fixed prices and services. When you go on and add it, it will be coming asking with the line type. Line type is not good, so it's a fixed price and services. So because of which it was not coming, now it's coming. <coughs> okay, so, so visiting card is basically a description based. And then desktop, fine, brother. Desktop has been assigned to what? The first top. But desktop two is assigned to the third or uh, this is the one. Fine. This, this, and this. These are the only three items which are going to be visible for you also. And then laptop also. So there are four items which are going to be considered on this particular 52310. One desktop, one the laptop, and then desktop two, and then visiting cards. Click on this one. Fine. So I will now go and then right click and then duplicate. Now. I will now go and then duplicate it. And then I will now go to the first info let. And then here I go there. You click on the procurement and then I go to the purchase requisition. So I'm now going to go for the purchase requisition. And then here, uh, not the purchase requisition actually, I'm going to click on it. Then again, go back. You will now have a look at the, uh, the catalog area. Click on it. I go there. I go to the procurement and then I go to the catalogs. The catalog administrator role is not facilitating you to do, do the work of a catalog actually. I'm going to click on it. And then I will now go on and have a look at what the managed catalogs. Click on the managed catalogs. So here, if you see, I have made two catalogs. One is a desktop catalog and then one is a laptop catalog. If you open the catalog, if you open the catalog, it will tell you the content of a catalog actually. This is called catalog content management. So catalog is having a name. So here we have agreements, we have master items, we have categories, and then we have what added. So this is basically uh, what restrictive in nature. Actually. So it has to meet this condition, this condition, this condition. And then if all the three conditions are met, then only the item will now be available. So include items from all agreements. There are plenty of agreements out there. So it's going to be all the agreements are eligible for it. And then here, the categories include items from specific categories. So within all the agreements, whatever is now belonging to the desktop only will be visible for the user who is going to use this catalog. If a user is going to use this desktop catalog, he can see items which is having a category of desktop on all the agreements. So it is basically restrictive in nature. It is restrictive in nature. So all the things are applied. So, so once when you filter out everything, or in all the agreements, whichever is having the desktop will be eligible for viewing it actually. Okay, give answer now. This is what is on the desktop catalog. Similarly, if you go on and have a look at the laptop, laptop catalog, you have a look at the catalog. So include items from all the agreements which is having a laptop category. All the items, whichever is having a laptop category, are all eligible for viewing by the requester if he is having an access to laptop catalog. You got it now, fine. So catalog is basically restrictive in nature. I got it. And then afterwards, what I did is I have uh, uh, I have gone there, and then here in this place, I gone to the catalog category hierarchy. I created in a different fashion all together. <clears throat> so here, but I'm slightly different now. Okay. So this time. So what I did is I made C1 computers as the main one now. So open it up. So C1 computers don't open up. So once when you open it up, below which I have made two, this is also a browsing category, and then I have made desktop category browsing and then laptop category browsing. So if you expand it, you will now find one item category. This is called item category. This is a leaf level of a node actually. And similarly, on the laptop category, I have one leaf level. So the work of a what's called a consultant is the place where you have to think, 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 and then divide this is the hierarchy. How many levels of hierarchy you want? So you can have multiple levels of browsing, and then in the last level, leaf level will be an item category. So C01 desktop is an item category. So here I have enabled these three things with the tick mark. They are all called featured category. So once when any requester who logs in, he'll be able to see whatever has been put a tick mark that will be visible for him. So only these three things will be visible. That is, computer will be visible, desktop browsing, will, computer browsing will be visible, desktop browsing, and then the laptop browsing. The remaining nothing will be visible actually. In the main area, once when you open the requisition page, these three featured categories will be visible in the last. 
and then i have added the images also find this place i have added the image now <clears throat> so images so i have added for the computers for the desktop as well as laptop so uh, whereas for the item level category we cannot item category we cannot wait for a browsing category we can very well add an image so i have added images over here <clears throat> so this is what is. so this is the hierarchy so below computers we have desktop and laptop below desktop we have a desktop and then below laptop we have a laptop so they are all item category so this i have configured so click on that and then afterwards i go on to the content zone so the real work of an implementer is what creating the restrictive catalogs creating the catalog hierarchy catalog category hierarchy and then finally the content zones these are the three major activity for implementer so click on the manage uh, content zone now. so content zones are basically additive in nature whereas catalogs are restrictive in nature i go to the desktop now click on desktop now. they are additive in nature so it will now display to the requester whatever is there in these catalogs you can even have multiple catalogs attached to this catalog is restrictive in nature here it says what uh, include all items from all the agreements where the desktop is the category right so that way it is restrict so desktop the catalog is basically restrictive in nature whereas the content zones are additive in nature so it will now display everything and then if there is a public shopping list that will also display if there is a smart form that will also display so all the three are basically additive in nature and then all the three are basically secured by one of them so i have now given a security of what only worker now right this is the worker i am given so this is for the desktop so content zones are basically additive in nature whereas catalogs are restrictive in nature additive only for the first three fine catalog public shopping list and smart form give a cancel now so i given this so similarly i made the laptop laptop content zone also right so laptop content zone so i give so it is for these many catalogs fine you can even add multiple also and then multiple public shopping lists and then multiple shop forms and then it is secured all the three are secured by this thing i have given a security of a new worker actually so you have to decide if you want to have this content zone to be accessed by all requesters then you know go for what secured by requisitioning view or available to all requisitioning views there are higher levels actually so if you don't want to have any restrictions if you put the first one everybody can see this now on that place so depending upon the requirement you have to secure it security is depending upon the requirement and if you want you can even bypass it by putting in the first one so security is getting bypassed so three things are secured by one so you done it and then you can now see in this place so there are multiple other content zones are also there i will now open up the ds content zone i will now click on the ds content zone it is having something something and then here it is now secured by the bu since i am also working in bu i will be able to see whatever is there in this place <clears throat> so they have a ds catalog so whatever ds catalog has contains i can view it because it is a bu level security so i can view it thank you for cancel so this will also be coming in my shopping list and similarly i have not done on the us one procurement also if you go on and see so here also is a is basically available to all procurement users this is a procurement one now the us one procurement is a procurement one and that so it is available to us one local catalog is now available to everybody it's fine so this is a procurement so there are two types of content zones one is a requisitioning and then one is a procurement on the other day i was confused about what it exactly is i am not going to show it today this one so this is one and then here if you go on and see find the others now we will now go and then go and then have a look at our shopping area now so many catalogs will be visible for me because this content zone is having a generic one and then uh, one more thing find us one requisitioning content zone also i think is also very very many things so this is also this has been given to some other instructor now i have secured it to some other instructor so this will not fire at all for me so this will not so this is us one requisition content zone modifying but something else will fire so we will now go and then see what are all the things which are visible for the requester actually and do that duplicate it so here i will now go to the first one <clears throat> on this now and then click on procurement and then go to the purchase request and if you see so many things will be visible if you click on the shop by category so many categories are visible whereas i want only this one now if you see on the expand so i i am now uh, working on the emp2 emp2 is having only desktop eligibility fine go that you want so desktop catalog is coming and we'll expand it you will now see desktop the laptop will not be coming here at all because there is no secure there is secure data. so there is these things should not come at all so for these things not to come what you have to do is you go there open this and then change the security levels so go there i will now delete it i will now put some worker over here now <clears throat> on the click on actions and then go to select my <clears throat> i will now put on our work clerk is there our search for it now on clerk Mark Clark, so 
नॉट कमिंग सी एल ए आर के अवा I will now use instructor in S T or U C T or instructor comma P R C zero zero. So you can search last name from first name. So oh sorry, it is a B level. It is a B level. So I have to choose this now. And secure by worker, I am going to do it now. And click on actions, and I am going to select that. I think this time it will work. The Ava. Click on search now. The Ava plot. Ava another is C L E R K. Come on, search. You know, okay. So first time I am going to do it. Right. So th this particular content zone is now only for this this employee actually, not for this. Right. I have not changed it. I know that one. So this will not show it to me. And then I will now make a check. I know that. Click on it. Case cat lock content. You know, see, go down. So here again, it is for some other student. Somebody has made it now. Fine. PRZ eighteen student. So he is now making it. So it will not fire for me now. I need to cancel. Now. So I am going to see next one. Third one will not go on and how over it now. Is again Ava Clark. I know that it will not fire for me. Now go on and see the fourth one now. You as one procurement, you can leave it as of now. Right? Now go to the requisitioning content zone now. The fifth one you are going to see this one. Right? So this is also some other instructor. So nothing will fire except these two. Now. They are the only eligible. Fine. The desktop content zone is eligible for me. So if you click on desktop, go on and see here. It is for EMP two, and then laptop is for EMP three. <laughs> So out of all, only one is going to fire. Nothing other than import. So know that it is EMP3. So now we'll now go there again. Come back. You go to the what's called. You go to the manage contents. Um, where is it? Go to the shop now. So again, click on that one. You will not find um, many things. Right? Just go now. Right? I will now click on the home icon and then come over here now. It has to go away. So click on the first one <clears throat> on the info let. Go there. So click on the procurement and then go to the purchase requisition. You have to see only one the remaining. So shop it and go to the. So only one is visible. The remaining is gone because they are all for different different users. Actually, second users. And if you expand it, what happens? You see, only desktop is coming. Fine. If you expand it, you will not find desktop. So here, if you if I go there and then see this place, what happens? If you go and then click on it, click on it. I will not click on the desktop. The three top one will be visible over here now for you. The bottom it will be visible actually. So all the three are visible actually. So the visiting cards, the desktop to the desktop, and all the three are visible actually. So the orders. And then if you have a look at your uh, orders now, find that. So let us now have a look at the orders. Where is the order? The blanket purchase agreement is there. Find that one. So if you go and then look at the what's called your desktop item. And then if you click on edit, find that. Click on the details of this. One. So click on the details of the desktop item. If you click on the details of the desktop item, you can now see. This many informations are coming. So the thumbnail image is coming. Fine. Yeah, given the image URL. If you click on it, find the image URL. And click on it. So this is a. If you click on it, what happens? That image URL is just now. So this is not the image URL. Go back on it. So the thumbnail URL is there, and then the image URL is there. <clears throat> so go to this place. What happens? You can now see for the desktop item, the thumbnail thumbnail is this now. This is the thumbnail. Go back here. Where is it? So how to go back here? It is not shown like this. The blanket again. The thumbnail is there. So this is the there's an image desktop. I'm going to right click and then open the link in a new tab. So you can see this this desktop has to come up. So if I click on the shopping area in the shop area, if you click on it, what happens? That that image will be. This is a thumbnail image. If you click on it, what happens? You cannot see that main image will be coming here in this place. The thumbnail image is here. Okay, fine. So I have not given any images for these two items. Only only for what I'm a laptop I have given. <clears throat> So the image-wise, this is the one. So if you uh, have a look at the blanket again, so the thumbnail image, the image-wise, and then we have an attachment URL also. So the attachment URL you can see in this place. If you go there, <clears throat> I will now close it now. So if you go to the manage content now, go to the shop, and if you click on it, <clears throat> you see, you can now see this now. Attachment. If you click on it, the attachment will be coming. This is the attachment I have given. Now. And then afterwards, if you see the supplier information, so supplier I have given a URL actually. My URL I have given now. Fine. My website URL I have given. So that's now coming. Supply is URL. And then the manufacturer's information. If you go on and see, if you click on it, there is also a URL. Manufacturer information is also a URL. There is a Google URL. So all the three links are firing actually. The brand is C zero one manufacturer. Now fine. The brand will be displayed on the main heading itself. I will be given them. The brand will be displayed on the main one. And click on them. You want to say on the in this place. The brand is getting displayed. C zero one manufacturer is now showing here. 
So it will not display all the brands of your catalog category. The catalog category here again, it will not show. It is not showing the unit price as well as the quantity. Everything is not showing on this place. So now, if you see our configure requisitioning person, items which are assigned to this are only purchasable actually. So if you go on and see this place, shop place here, desktop two is the only item which is assigned. If you go on and have a look at those items. So desktop two is the only item which is assigned to Chicago. The desktop item as well as the visiting cards are not assigned to the laptop. The laptop and then the desktop are not assigned to Chicago. So this is the only item which is assigned to Chicago. So that is only shoppable actually. If you go there and then click on it. So if you go to the see one desktop item, if you go there and then try to add to cart, it will not throw an error. It will not allow it. And you can see one message will be coming. It is internally orderable. So that message is not coming here at all. It is assigned to Seattle actually. So it waits for some time and then it will not throw an error. So yesterday we were stumbled at the error only. So that is because of this actually. In this one. Way. So let me change it to the first org and then I will not show you this actually. So in this place, it is not throwing an error. <clears throat> I will not give it down. But if you go for this item, this is now Chicago. If you click on it, now find this top two is for Chicago. You can see the internally orderable message is coming. Then you can add to cart. This is coming mainly because what happened? This is now assigned to Chicago. And then here also it shows Chicago item is available on the validation or item must be available on the validation or then only what happens? It'll be possible for it added. It will not add it to cart. So let us know delete from cart. So delete from cart. So it will not delete from cart. So it will not give it done. Whereas for visiting cards, it is basically description in nature. If you go there, click on it. You have on it. So if you go on and click on done. So visiting cards is basically fixed prices and services. I know it's not showing you the, uh, I think if you can view the column, I view column, you know, say the line type. <clears throat> if you can see the line type, it will be great actually. Uh, line type is not visible at all for the viewing actually. I don't know why it's so, uh, type. Type is a line type actually. So if you put the type, you can now see, that is the type here. <clears throat> type is coming there also. So type is what fixed prices are. Applicable. So for fixed prices and services, there is no IVU at all. IVU is not applicable. Item validation organization is not applicable. So it is a description based. And so if you go there, if you go to the what's called manage, if you go to the shop area, if you click on the visiting cart, and then here it will now get coolly added. If you get to add to cart, it will be getting added. It will be getting added. So for fixed prices and services, there is no concept of IVU. Now let us go there and change this place now. Find to see again. So I will not change it to Seattle. So it's 001 now. Fine. Give us save. Now, this item will not come at all. In this place, if you go on and see, if you click on the now, I, de desktop 2 will not come. If you go there. The internally orderable, even though it's there, what happens? It will not come at all. Don't throw another lecture. So it got ordered. So here, uh, why this was? Because it's now got locked with the value actually. And click on the now. So we have to, what happens? Uh, come out of it and click on done and then come out of it. And then re-query on this now. Go there, click on it. You know, see, the desktop two should not be back orderable. Internally orderable is still coming fine. Add to cart. Oh, God. <clears throat> it is not what happens. Uh, we, I think we have to log out and log in. Then only it will not come. Fine. Let me log out and log in. When we log out and log in, so many things will be going out. So uh, it's okay. We'll not keep it as well. Now, uh, the desktop item is now must be coming now. Right? The internally orderable symbol has to come. See, it's still not coming. So that means what? Only upon log out and log in, you will see the fact. So let us now log in. Now, let's go. Sign out and sign. So whatever we have changed, we will now save and close also on this now. The changes will say, oh God, I think we will not have saved at all. Go there. <clears throat> I will now go to the home and then I will now come back again to this place now. Click on the home icon. So go to the first one. <clears throat> and then go there. Click on the procurement. On the first one, I can go there. Fine. Click on the purchase requisitions. And then shop by category. And then click on the desktop. And then here you can now see the desktop item is there. So this must be internally orderable, must be coming. It is now coming. It is now coming. You can very well add to it. Fine. That because that this thing has changed now. Fine. So come on. So it will not give it done now. The second item will no more be orderable at all. Fine. If you go there, the internally orderable will not be coming. Now, if you try to add, it will not be here. So the best practice is what? If you go there in this place, the best practice is. You have to make it as a master. So you have to make it as a master. So here, the master org is not coming. That is the what happens mistake in the vision instance actually. So if you go there, if you go there, use business one, use one business unit. So here we have to make it as a master. Fine. 
that is headquarters. Headquarters is the location of headquarters. If you want and see, search for it, it will not be available at all. Because this 000 org is basically an item org because of which it is not coming. They made a mistake actually. Huh? So there is not correct about that. You cancel. So here I will now go to manage inventory org. If you go on and try to query the inventory org, you will not be able to find the 00 org at all because it is not an inventory org at all. Organization name is 000. If you give me a search, it will not come at all. Nothing is there. If you go on and see the one, it will now come. Item one, will, organization one will become. So this is having, okay, I think I have to give it this place now. 000, if you go on and query for it, you won't be getting it. 000, organization number, it will not be there. So if you make it a 001, you can query it. You can keep on searching for it. So this is a lot. You go on and click on it. So if the management is item management, inventory management. So if it is an inventory management, it will be having a link to the LE and BU. So find BU LE link will be there. And so they are all transactable orgs. Whereas 000 is not an inventory management. It is an item management actually. And that is mainly used only for CRM. I told my students not to use that one for the master org because if you use that, you will not be able to create a sub inventory below the item management org at all. You cannot create a sub inventory. So by that way, you will not make a mistake at all by making a transaction. But what is the meaning of what happens? Uh, making a foolproof way of uh, doing it now. Fine. So when you do it, you are missing certain things now. Fine. Click on cancel. <clears throat> so you go there, click on manage item all. Manage item all. Item all is the one. Go there. So manage item organization is the one. If you go there and see, and then query for the 000, it will be available here. This is the mistake in vision. Go there, click on, click on it. So usage is item management, and then it is not having any BULE relationship at all. No relationship at all. And click on next now. If you click on next, you will now find only one page information that the remaining tab digits are not coming. So now let us convert this into a inventory management all. Go there, click on cancel. So we'll now query it and go there. Let us now convert it. Click on it. So we'll now change the item management to inventory management. Please use even the master org as inventory management. I will now show you the problem, where exactly the problem is going to come up. And click on the inventory management. And then once when you make it as inventory management, the US one business unit. So I have to say, what is your business unit? Trying to give a tab now. The business unit. And the primary ledger is coming up. Ledger is US related. Really so once when an org has got a link to LEBU, then it is a transactable org. And then we can very well make a transaction. I click on next one. Even though we are not going to perform any transactions in this org, and go there, click on. So this is what it is. The definition of schedule, I will now say is the operations now. Operations schedule, which I'm going to put it on. So operations. Located control determined the best level find the best level and you're choosing it. In e-business e -business also it's the same? No, e-business, we don't have this concept at all. We don't have an okay. item org, inventory org concept. We don't have the definition org, reference org concept. These two things are not there in e-business. There are additions. And they are mainly added only for CRM and not for supply chain actually. And people get okay. uh, tempted to use this as an item org and then they will not land up in error actually. So click on save and close. So before doing it, I will not show you the error on this now. I'm not, I'm not going to, I will not cancel it. I will not show you the problem, what you're going to get it now. And then uh, uh, browse items will not there. So I will now again click on the advanced search because this page has been, what happens here? We are logged out and logged in. So it will not come at all. So click on done now. We are again come over here. <clears throat> so the page has been logged out. Click on it. It will not go there. Go to the browse items. Go there. It's a C01. And then let me query it. Let me have a look at the child org. Right? The child org. We want to have a look at the child org. So go there. I will now go to the specifications. In the specifications, if you go there, and then you go to the sales and order management area. So go there. Click on it. So you will now find one sales account field is there. This is required by fixed assets. So fixed assets will now take up this only from the master org and not from the child org at all. Whereas this field will be missing on an item org. An item org, the sales account is missing. So on the sales and order management origin, you'll now find one field called sales account that is not used by the supply chain, but this is used by the fixed asset. Fixed asset field. On every item, the sales account is a mandatory one for fixed assets. So go there, click on cancel now. And then I will now query the same item on the master org. That is nothing but an item org. So if you click on it, open up. It is in the operations org. I'm not clicking on it. I go to the specifications. I go to the specifications. I go to the sales and order management. 
and then we'll go down you will not find the sales account is grayed you cannot give this at all because it is an item org had it been a inventory org we can very well populate this information on the master and even if you populate in the child org fixed assets will always look at the master so that is where my student got stuck and then uh, he came to me sir shall i cover it the inventory org because so many transactions have already happened in production i told him i also don't know you are fine let us not go on to it what to do there is no other go you want this account and so let us go and then convert it it went off smoothly actually so he go there so he did it and then uh, he was afraid because on a production some 50000 60000 items are made and then if you make a change he wanted to be doubly sure on this now <laughs> i told him i also don't know fine let us now experiment it fine sir mera naukri jayega aur fasega to usme that is what he was saying so go there and then we changed it when the transactions have already happened we changed it fortunately nothing happened at all i go there get on so here's one Go that yes, that yes. One, one, and then click on next one. And then here, I don't know. Populate the operations schedule. In reality, you have to populate the operations schedule. And then make it as what? Look at control for minutes. Now give us save and close. Now even on the master or we can see the sales account editable actually. Go there. Go to the page. Go to the items. And then here, I will not go there. The master or I will go there. Click on it. I will not go to the specifications. <coughs> and here go to the sales and order management and then you can now see the sales account becomes editable actually only on a inventory org and not on item org item org please don't use it that is mainly for crm purposes and then uh, both the definition org don't make it as a reference org also that is also for crm they will use these two concepts and then people are fancy and then they go on and do something here and there when some other model doesn't work they will now cry is it clear vijay is concept of this uh, Uh, or called item org and definition org. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, if you go on, then how I look at this now? Find the on it in the org level. If you go on, then how I look at it? So here, the operations org is now using find the it is now using a location called headquarters. So this headquarters will be available on your what's called your configure procurement business function. So go that on it. On the configure procurement business function, the headquarters will be available for you to populate. So once when you put a headquarters, naturally you go that on it. <coughs> now go to the home. And then click on it. Go to the setup and maintenance. <coughs> and then go there. Click on it. And then click on search. And then here configure procurement business function. So configure procurement business function is the one. Go there. Click on it. Open it up. And then drop down. And then choose your US. So US one. You have to keep your customer name here. Here's one business unit. Okay, okay, now. And then here headquarters will be coming now. Previously, because if it is only a oh, uh, configure not configure repositioning business function. Sorry, I'll go for configure repositioning business function. So in this place, I would like to tell you that this is for purchase orders now. The inventory org is basically for I will not choose anything. Fine, doesn't matter. Choose one of them. Okay, now, okay, now. I'll go there. So here the inventory org is for uh, uh, purchase orders. Now. This is also an IBO. This IBO is for purchase orders, whereas that IBO is for requisition. Whereas in in few, even everything is only one IBO is only one there. Configure requisitioning business function. Configure requisitioning business function. Okay, we will not change the headquarters. Now we can very well change the headquarters. Now. So here's one business unit. Okay. Now if you would head, it will be coming. Go there. Come on, come on, come on. E. I think we have to log on and log in. And something doesn't come, then we have to log on and log in. You see, it is location based basically. It's not coming. So let us know. Log on and log in. Then. So some major changes are now you are making it. You have to sign out on signing. Confirm. Then sign in. <coughs> So go to the first info let. It will not show you all this icon. You go to the what? You go to this place, and then go to the setup and maintenance, and then make a change. So every item will be available in the master, and so all of them are internally orderable actually. So it is configure okay. business function. So configure repositioning business function is the one. Now choose this one. 
years one was on the UK. This time head has to come. You see AD, the headquarters has to come. Oh God, now also it's not coming. What happened? People deliver the organization. So we had to use it as 000. I will not try to populate on 000 organization code 000. And you can search now. It's coming. It has been operations is coming. So it is only organization name and not the location name. Sorry, it is only organization. Name. I made a mistake. Now all the items are basically uh, internally orderable. Okay, keep on second close now. Now everything is now internally orderable. So if you go to this manage contents shop and then click on done now, and everywhere the internally orderable will be coming now. If you go on and query for it, you will now get internally orderable by each and every day. Okay, okay now. <clears throat> because we are now logged out and so it's not coming over now. So go to the shop by category and then open, expand computers. Below computers, desktop is coming. Can click on it now. So expand the desktop and then click on the desktop. You will now see all three items are coming. So I will now click on the first item, desktop 2. I'm going to click on it. Fine. It's now fine. It is internally orderable. If you click on add to cart, it will be getting added now. And then here, go there and then delete it. And then click on done now. And then next is desktop item. I'm going to go for it now. Fine. This is also internally orderable. So both are now internally orderable because master arg is the one which is there on the configure repositioning business function. So this is not complete. Okay, on this now, fine. And in this area, we will now go on and see that what happens. I'm not going to make a change on this now. Fine, there. So only desktop is visible for me. If you see the desktop is visible, let me make laptop visible on this. No space. And then I will now go to the content zone. Fine, there. Click on it. So I'm in the content zone. So I will now go to the desktop content zone itself. That is for the second user, third user I given now. Fine, click on it. So I will now open up this now. <clears throat> click on it. Go there. So I will now go to the content zone. I will now change the content zone. Now. I go to the desktop content zone. Go there. Let me make a change now. So here uh, it is accessible. This is now fine. Instead of desktop, what happens? Let me uh, uh, what happens? I delete it now. Delete it and then make it as a laptop. Actions and then go to select that. I will now make it a laptop. C0. So laptop will be visible for the person. Laptop. So no, no. I click on save and close now. Now instead of desktop, the laptop will become. So go there. I will drop down. If you expand this now, you will now find only laptop and desktop is coming. So click on done and then come out of it now. <clears throat> Let us see that without logging out. I will now see whether you can see it or not. Go to the first. <coughs> Infolet and then click on the procurement and then click on the purchase requisition. Now, laptop has to come. Click on it. Expand it. The laptop has to come. Mandichi, we got it. The laptop and the laptop. So, we have given an icon also for this moment. The icon, if you click on it, everything will be internally orderable. Mainly because what? The master org has been given. And then the attachments are also given. So, we can even query on many other fields, make an experiment on what are the fields on which you can query on the search area. You can query on this. I will now put laptop. So catalogs are basically restrictive in nature. Whereas you are, uh, I will not say put desktop, nothing has to come now. But the content zones are additive in nature. Nothing is coming. If you go there and then put a laptop, it's coming. So I, I think I have put somewhere well, Nana also, find Nana and then I make a search now. Everything is there. I have given it only for the desktop, it's not for the laptop. So this is a searchable field. As well as the searchable field, uh, the number we can search also. 522, uh, 52310, go there. So 52310, and then enter now. You cannot see this one. So by uh, the, the blanket agreement number, or otherwise, the searchable field numbers, we can very well use it. Now. Right? One of them will be coming. You go there. It will not write some other field now. Uh, the brand will be there. Fine, whether 0, C01, whether we can, I think it must be a searchable one. Likewise, there will be many searchable fields on this. I will now go on and query for the disk now. Nothing will be there. And go there and then paste it and then make a search. And so search it is available. That is a searchable field. So likewise, there are so many searchable fields on this now. So identify which are all the searchable fields actually. And then that you can use it later. Brand is naturally is coming on the out, outlet also. The outlet also is not in this place, the brand is also mentioned. This is on this now. <clears throat> the next one is what? I will now right click and then I will now go to the manage catalog. So the content zones, the catalogs are now clear. Now, 
if you wanted to what create a public shopping list fine go to the manage public shopping list because he is now a catalog administrator also if you go there click on the manage public shop public shopping list and then if you click on plus now so here if you go there and i will not say it's a c01 public shopping list i'll not put this take you over it and then i'm going to add it from a catalog it will not add at all so it needs one procurement content zone also it needs a procurement content zone also then only it will be possible if you click on add from catalog nothing will be visible for you from the shop category nothing is visible actually so it's not showing you some others no not ours actually so uh, it don't add anything from us from from ours it has to come up and that one so in the bottom the top categories are basically listed now and we are given a tick mark on the top three so the featured categories the featured categories will be listed on the bottom as a top category so so for which what happens even if you go on and try to click on the computers fine go there click on the computers i will not go to the desktop uh, whatever it is not fine go there click on it the items will not be visible at all here because the procurement category is not added the procurement content zone is not added so then only what happens you can add it to this one give a cancel now and even if you click on it you are unable to add it to the public shopping list and give a cancel now and then give a cancel on this now so let us now create one more content zone for the public shopping list actually so we had to go to the so go to the manage content zones and then this time i'm going to make one so till now everything is what the usage is requisitioning actually when they have one us also fine so we had to make one of them as a procurement usage actually so click on plus one so let us make one so i will now say c01 <coughs> procurement content zone and then give a name properly fine that is why they feel you decide the names allowed in procurement content zone and then here what is make it as a procurement now and <clears throat> and then here catalogs i will now go to the action zone and go to search mode so i will now add mine now so c01 and then click on search i will now add desktop can i add multiple is a laptop and click on apply also multiple are getting added so items which belong to these two catalogs are eligible for this procurement content zone now so public shop it is there you can do it otherwise what happens you go there available to all procurement users so this is a normal one so a public shopping list should be available to all the people and if they want to restrict it you have to restrict it and then create another one which is for all so this one will be available for all the things there is a normal usage because everybody can go on and do the public shopping list now so this public shopping list i'm going to open give a save and close so save and close is now done so i have now created one now and that one so now a public shopping list has been created now now So having done this, fine. Go there. So click on done, and then create the public shopping list. Now, having given a create a content zone for a procurement, and then go there. So click on what manage public shopping list, and then let me create it. So already I created. I have not created. I have not created. I have not created. I have not created. Go there. So add from catalog. When click on add from catalog, this time you can add. So let me go there. So if you click on the desktop catalog, the item will be visible. Fine. Two items are visible. <coughs> i will now add this item and click on select it and then once you click the complete tick mark to be complete be enabled now and click on it the desktop to i'm adding it now and add to document so once you click on it when you add the complete will be coming and click on add to document now it is getting completed and complete button is on and click on complete this is now added to the public shopping list now so click again i will now say whenever you go spot it is now recommending for three quantities now three quantities is not recommending so click on add to catalog i will now choose something else something other go to the laptop or no The laptop one. There's got only one item. Fine, go there. Click on it, and then click on Add to Document. It will be getting added now. And then I will now say uh, quantity. I will now say four, five or something like that. Click on it. Complete. So the public uh, catalog is now ready. Fine, there. There are two items of that. Fine, save and close. Now add the C zero one to your content zone. So public. This is now that. If you click on it, what happens? You can now see two or three items have been added. This is for three quantities, and that is for that one one, one quantity only. Okay, no. Laptop is one, and then this is three. Okay, fine, go there. So uh, uh, you go there, and then what happens? Cancel. Add this to your content zone. Thank you, content now. You are going to add it to the content zone. Go there, and then you go to the manage content zones, and then here I will now go to the procurement content zone now. So zero on procurement content zone. You go there, and then add this. The content zone is basically additive in nature. It will not show you this, 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 and then the public shopping list also it will not show. Now go to the actions and go to the select, and then let me go to the one and click on apply and add. So it is additive in nature on the procurement. So and then the restrictions apply only on the security. 
So the catalog content, the public shopping list, the smart form. Smart form will not come with the procurement. Only for the requisition, it will be coming now fine with that. So on the procurement front, only these two are the catalogs and public shopping list. Whereas for requisition, catalog, public shopping list, and then smart forms. So you know that we go there and then we'll not log out and log in on this area. So if you go and then go to this place on this area. <clears throat> so here you will now find one public shopping list will be coming on this place. If you click on it now, you go there. The public shopping list will be coming. So go to the first info let and then you go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisitions. <clears throat> so here in this area, the, the, public, the uh, public shopping list also has to come over here in this area. So it's not coming. So let me log out and log out. Sign out and sign in. So now any major changes are done. You sign out and sign in. You can sign in. First info let. And then go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisition. You will now find <coughs> what happens. It has to come here. And maybe the drop down and see the public shopping list has to come. I will now see computers. No fine. Computers are not coming. No, the laptop is there. I'm going to click on the laptop. I will now say add to the laptop. Here, it has to come somewhere. So here, we can even add to our own shopping list also. So whatever quantity, I will now say, I will be frequently doing it. I will now click on add to shopping list. I click on it. I will now go to add shop, to shopping list. I have no way to create, there is no shopping list at all. If I click on plus and then let me create a shopping list. I can, every user can have his own shopping list. No, no. Shopping list. So click on save and close now. So the item is added to this. So click on the done and then come out of it. And then the shopping list is now getting listed. So drop it down. And then here we have got only Nana shopping list. The public shopping list is not coming. That means what? We have to add our thing on the requisitioning one now. Fine. I made a mistake now. I made it added in the one. I made it the wrong way, you know. So I will now go on that and make it in the requisitioning one. So manage conditions. I thought that in the procurement function I added now. I, I, I had to add it in the requisitioning business function. Go to the click on add. Here I had to add. So click on actions and the requisitioning we had to add it now. Not on the procurement area. I don't know what are the function. Maybe fine. So but I think it will be working now. So if you go there and then go to this place shop and then here uh, you know, if you drop down the shopping list my public shopping list also has to come it's not it coming then now go to the home icon and then come back and then do it now click on the home icon and then first <coughs> one and then go to this one the info the first one and then go there click on the purchase requisition so this is no coming fine go there come on come on come on come on it is no coming the c01 public shopping list is coming so you go there click on it and then add it so it's not showing you only one item. So that can be selected and then that can be coming over here. Add to cart, we can add it. There's no item. So close it now. But we have added two items on the cart. Now if I click on done now. <clears throat> we added two items on the cart. So the only one is not shown for you. Only one is not shown for you. You will now go there and then manage content zones. And then here, we will not give it done now. Have a look at the public shopping list. Click on done now. So go to the manage public shopping list. If you open it up, I added two items, but only one is showing. And the laptop is going. This is not shown because we have a restriction on this now. We are now able to see only laptop and so there is only showing. So desktop is not available. So let us now make both the things available for the request. How do it? We'll now go there, cancel it. So desktop is on a desktop one point. So we will now go to the what's called catalogs. And catalog is a restrictive area. Fine, restrictive area. Fine, go there, click on it. I will now open up my desktop. Go down. So instead of category name is desktop, if I add computers, fine. you can now see on this place, in this place, uh, go there. So I will not, uh, where is that here? Okay. I will not show in some other place. So you have to see the hierarchy of how it is all there. If you go to the procurement and click on the catalog. You can go, you click on it. You go to the manage catalog category hierarchy, if you see. So in the bottom, if you see, the C01 computers contains both actually, both the desktop and laptop. So if you give a desktop, only desktop only is coming, laptop, laptop is coming. If you give the C01 computers, both of them will come. So you go there, go to the place. I will now delete this and then add C01 computers. Now the actual one say that. Now both things will be coming together. So C01. And then click on search now, fine. 
the browsing category. So at what level you are designed for every catalog? Every catalog at what level you are designed is a big task in the field. Okay? Telling is very easy, but it is not so. Okay? I will not use the, not the item one, but the browsing one I'm going to add. Item one means what? Only that will show. If you go there, everything will not show. This is a browsing one. Thank you. Now, this user is now having what? The C01 computer itself. I'll go there and I'll have a look at it. I'll click on it and then go there. Go to the first one. <clears throat> Info it. Click on the procurement and then you can go to the con. <clears throat> now, if you go then shop, you will now see C01 computers will be coming. So here it has to come. Both the desktop and laptop has to come. I mean, maybe you had to allow them. Both the desktop and laptop has to come now. So log out and log in. So now that will be visible for you. Click on signing. Go to the first info it and then go there. Go to the procurement and then go to the purchase requisitions and then have a look. Now both the things will be drop it down. You now see C01 computers will be expanded. Both the desktop and laptop has to come. Oh come on, it's not coming here. What is the problem now? What is the mistake I've done? <clears throat> the desktop has to come now. I've given C01 computers as the catalog one. In that we'll now go on and have a look at the shopping area now. The content zone. You know, have a look at the content zone. Content zone, what I have given. So the catalog is now having C01 computers actually. We will now have a look at the content zone. Content zone maybe having some other restriction. So forgive me. And then go to the catalog. And then let's now look at the content zone. Click on it. We'll now have a look at the manage content zones now. Catalog says on. I'll now move this place and then have a look at it now. The content zone, what I have given. So here I have given a laptop category. So there is a mistake. So what the, the public shopping list is also there. So let me delete this now. Fine, go there. Go there. The laptop catalog, let me delete and then put the computer's catalog. And actions. And then go to select that. Not the laptop, but the desktop. Desktop is having both. Laptop is having only one now. So go there and then add it to our desktop. So desktop has got C01 computers as a category. Catalog. So C01 catalog, computer catalog is having one of them. Desktop is having this now. Now both of these will be visible for us. Same and close. Not done. Then go there, click on it. Go to the home icon. First info it. This is the problem only in this instance actually. Go to the procurement and go to the purchase requisition. Now, if you see, both the things will be visible. On it. And then both the things are visible. Now, if you drop down, what happens if you go there, click on the drop down. And then see yours now, fine. If you go to the public shopping list, fine, then click on it. You now see both the items are available here. This and this. So this a quantity of three is recommended. This is a quantity of one is recommended as per the public shopping list. So if you go there, right? so you can add it. Now. And then you can even change, make a change. When three is not sufficient, I want four. Fine, go there, click on add to part. You can be getting added because internally you have the piece. So that's it from me as far as corrections on the day one is concerned, along with the public shopping list as well as your own shopping list. So if you go there, click on it. So I'm now finding this one now. Fine, let me add it to my now. Fine, go there. Add to shopping list. The three quantities I feel is a very good one. So I will now add to that one, give a save and close. <clears throat> so that gets added up only. Then add it. Click on them. So if you go and then see your shopping list, find the main place. If you go there, click on the shopping list and then have a look at it. So Nana shopping list is already having one item. So you are frequently buying it, those things will be available over here. So it has got two items actually. So I'll now add the visiting card also to the shopping list. Find click on it down. I'll now go there. I will now go to the what's called shopping category. <clears throat> And then in the desktop category, you'll be having a listing card also. You go there, listing card So open it up and then add to shopping list. Listing card also will be added. And add the same one, close now. Now uh, shopping list will be having three items. So the frequently procured items, the individual requester can add to his own shopping list apart from the public shopping list. Public shopping list, you don't have any access, only the catalog administrator will be doing it now. So he can have this. He can have it. And then he can very frequently he's purchasing it. He can keep it and then he can order it. Okay, this time I'm going to add a laptop and click on it and not go and add it to the cart. So that is on public shopping list as well as the individual requesters shopping list. So if you go there and have a look. Anna, for public shopping list, uh, we don't need any user account. No user account, fine. So that is done by this now, fine. So the public shopping list is done by the procurement catalog administrator. The catalog administrator will be having this catalog. I click on it. So he'll be doing it now. Fine, go there in this place. You go there. He will only be having an access to the page. So if you go to the public shopping list, here you can add any items. Click on it. He will be adding the items on a common item. So let's say if a new employee is joining, for him, we had to give a helmet, we had to give him a laptop, uh, we had to give him a mobile, 
so whatever you are going to give for a new hire list fine like new employee kit so likewise what happens there will be one so that will be added to the administrator catalog administrator you want know, to know add whatever he wants by adding to my catalog for which you must have what one procurement content zone eligible now the procurement content zone is the eligibility for adding from a catalog got it now so the main activity for a catalog administrator is what you go there the managing the catalogs which is restrictive in nature the catalog category hierarchy and then manage content source this is a main headache actually so much of work he has to sit first of all he has to take a excel sheet and then design this now because everybody cannot be given everything for example the junior uh, uh, sales officer uh, can buy a laptop whereas a senior sales officer can buy a laptop as well as a desktop also so likewise the management will be giving it so you have to understand about how many ways of uh, what happens hierarchy is required first of all put the catalog category hierarchy on paper very clearly and do 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 and then you can even make a change also fine go that you want let us let us what happens you want to make a change on this so in the c01 let us say uh, if you want to make a change change is easy actually you will now see that this item fine should not be on the desktop it should be on the laptop actually fine you can very well shift it actually you can even shift it and select it select the item it should not be under this category in this in this hierarchy add it change hierarchy fine go that you want and then go and then click on the move now click on the move you can very well change it to anywhere now so i will now query for c01 i will now put the laptop over here now and choose the laptop and then save and close it gets shifted to the laptop so it will now be available on the desktop now fine whether you expand it it will be available on the laptop so likewise we can even move these ones anywhere wherever you want actually you got it now fine so anything can be moved anywhere but making this hierarchy on paper that is on excel sheet is a very big task actually and then these are the three ones which you have selected that will be appearing on the on the future category they are appearing on the shopping area and the main one now whatever the future category will be coming as a top category for a procurement cluster click on the home now <clears throat> go to the first infolet and then go to the rec positions so that will be coming as a what's called infolet on the bottom now <clears throat> you know coming the top categories the top categories will be coming on the bottom so whichever you want you can do it but if you don't have an access if you click on it nothing will be shown if the access is not granted on the catalog manage catalogs and manage content zones even if you click on it nothing will show there so here i have not given any what's called images on this now fine the thumbnail images are not given i given thumbnail images for the desktop as well as the laptop now fine so uh, the thumbnail images are picked up from the bpa actually <clears throat> if there is no bpa uh, we have to identify from where you have to give the image now when desktop to is as a, as a visiting card is not having a bpa somebody make an r and d on how to give a what's called image for the visiting card now okay come on it go there so here uh, visiting card is not having a bpa let's say we had to get a image also from where it will not pick up yeah maybe on the item level item level is coming or not so it is a lab access point if an item is not having a bpa bpa has got a thumbnail image as well as a big image and here is the thumbnail image is shown if you click on the, the full image will be coming so this is okay this is the same one i have given the same one maybe if you give them and you know don't have to put for the laptop this is the image now if you click on it oh, both the images are same actually <laughs> i have copied everything packed the copy paste copy paste my mother so how to see this thing and then the brand is also coming all the what's called the brand manufacturing brand is also listed over here so listing it by hierarchy is again a very big challenge actually the miscellaneous is coming somewhere something has got enabled and then because of it is now coming now fine so you should every user should be able to see only whatever he can purchase here if other things are coming that means what you have not configured your content zone properly you have to log in to every user and then see there are 500 users means what is so how difficult it is sometimes it is a very laborious task people used to cry say sir 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 ssp is a really a tough task i want help i want to have some what's called that uh, basically the freshers who are coming in a fine they will now sit sits and then make all this thing it doesn't need any big intelligence or anything like that so you have to systematically do everything and then do it so if you go on and see this now fine so tomorrow uh, monday we are going to see the other ones now <clears throat> click on it and then click on it and then go to the catalogs now so click on it so we will not manage agreements it is only for agreement management fine it is only going to show you catalog you have seen category category is content zone you have seen now information is not yet seen now and then public shopping list is also 
this is a small one smart forms also you can see so likewise this one so another uh, if i am an employee and i don't need a manage agreements right i just go and i uh, if i yeah, this is available only on the catalog area now so you don't have an access you are an employee you will not be able to see this page at all this page okay. you cannot see at all got it so here yeah. if you go there go back one level now you will not find catalog at all you will be having only a role of what procurement requester and procurement preparer if you click on it the catalog itself will not be visible for you yeah okay. your catalog administrator this will be visible so if you are a pure procurement preparer and requester only your purchase requisitions and my receipt solution since i given a procurement manager purchase orders and purchase agreements are also coming i given everything for this user for easy na sir yeah for, for one one user you have given all the roles all the roles now fine so so that everything is visible in one place so that i can now fiddle around very fast actually any other questions on the session Okay, bye for now, and then I try to practice all those things. Fine. Uh, no, no, sir. Kailash share. Yeah. Yeah. If if you can stop the recording, like I've got some other different. That's right. I will stop the recording. So I will practice everything, and then Monday will be uh, starting the balance ones. I will be completing on Monday.